NSFW Redditors who lived in secluded towns. What's the darkest thing that has ever happened in your town that everyone knew about but never talked about? A guy living here was pretty well known in our community, just because he socialized with everyone a lot. Anyway sadly he was suicidal. He went up to the moor and shot himself with a shotgun. Now, we have two police officers in our village, and he was friends with them. So he put sticky notes all over his house and some of them demanded that those officers were to not attend the scene. Some police from the nearest town were looking for his location, but didn't know the area. So they called the police from my village to show them where it may be. They hadn't been told what they were going to. So when they arrived and saw their dead friend, well I can imagine it being a horrible sight. During the Korean War the North Korean People's Army were getting closer to my town. The government forces rounded up hundreds of people they suspected of being communist or communist sympathizers took them a little out of town and executed them. I had no idea this happened and it's never talked about. Oddly enough our part in the Korean War is celebrated because the North Koreans advance was stopped at our town. Suicides. Mostly from non-local people. My town and surrounding area was and to a point still is, a well-known area to hang oneself. Sometimes people would also commit suicide by either crashing their car or gassing themselves in their car. When I was around 12, a local boy, who actually lived across the street from me, was accidentally shot by his best friend. Apparently they had took the guns out of the house when they weren't allowed to, and were shooting rattlesnakes in the ditch. However, one bullet ricocheted off a tree and hit the boy point blank in the face. He hung on for about a week before they took him off life support. However, I did hear my parents say years later that it might not have been an accident, which doesn't really make sense to me because the boys were around 11 years old at the time. I know people have murdered other people at younger ages. It just seems unlikely to me that that happened. I used to live in remote Australia. A body of a girl about 17 to 18 turned up in the middle of nowhere. I mean nowhere. The nearest house was 40 kms away. The road was red dirt. Some drovers found her nearly decomposed. No one knows who she is. No one knows where she came from. The only theory they have is that a river flooded and brought her down from Darwin and she's more than likely an international tourist. We don't talk about it because there is literally no town, and no one in it to talk about it to. About nine years ago, a guy lost his job at a nearby Kaiser so he killed his five children and wife and then turned the gun on himself. Before he shot himself he faxed a letter to a news station explaining that the tough economic times we were living in left him no other choice and also apparently indicated that he and his wife had agreed to this murder-suicide pact weeks before it happened. They had pulled their older children out of school and everything. In my hometown there was a girl who hid her pregnancy from everyone. She gave birth in her family home while everyone was out but hemorrhaged and fainted. Her dad found her and took her to hospital where they proceeded to ask him where the baby was. He didn't know she was pregnant but went back to the house to find the baby. He found the baby in a bucket in the cupboard. She had stabbed it multiple times with manicure scissors. She claimed it was dead on delivery but the autopsy proved otherwise. She was arrested and spent a few months in a mental institution before being released back to my hometown. A girl at my high school went missing. Then about two months later the paper ran a story about how a local girl was abducted taken to Mexico and gang raped sodomized and several other graphic details. That girl showed up at school. She was there about five minutes before everyone connected the dots and she had to leave. It was sad as shit at the time. It's even sadder now that I am grown up and understand what happened. My small town paper is an asshole. My town is not very small, but was fairly small when these events happened. In the 70s, a man had been kidnapping young girls about 10 years old, and keeping them in a dungeon made from an old bunker below his garage. One 12-year-old girl was kept in his dungeon and raped for six months. The man actually aided in the search for one missing girl to try to mislead the police, although he was eventually caught when his wife grew suspicious. 
he was given life in prison. The first time I heard about this was from a YouTube video compiling similar cases. The video mentioned my town, and after a quick search I found out that the house was only about 300 meters from me, and I had passed it hundreds of times while walking to school. I get chills every time I think about it now. I suppose people don't mention it anymore because it happened 40 years ago. But my mom, who grew up only a little further up the street from this man instantly knew what I was talking about when I asked her about it. Two terrible things occurred. A very popular boy hung himself from a swing set in a town park. He was 17. At that time there had been a couple suicides of young boys in our area, but this one really took people by surprise. Funeral was terrible. He had one older brother and a sister. About three or four years later the older brother hung himself at the same place on the anniversary of his brother's suicide. Terrible. My friend's 21 years old sister was murdered in her house on Christmas. Came home from celebrating with family to find someone robbing her house. He beat and murdered her with a baseball bat. Ended up to be a kid she went to HS with. He ended up killing himself in jail. It's been 10 years and it's still difficult to talk about. Somebody owned a pub and killed his wife and bricked her into the wall. She was reported missing. 30 years later they were renovating the pub and found her but at that point her husband had died. Someone got murdered in this secluded run-down bar a few minutes down the round and their body was dumped in the lake. Despite everyone usually knowing everything and everybody, nobody would speak of it. The cleaner at my old primary school hung himself right in the middle of the hall where all the assemblies and such took place. Needless to say school was cancelled for a few days. Not secluded but I live in a small town. The owner of the pizza shop down the street from me shot himself in the head a couple of years ago. In broad daylight. Behind the shop. Nobody talks about that town I grew up in there was a noisy house party late at night. A neighbor goes over to ask them to tone it down. A scuffle ensues. Some guy kicks the shit out of him so bad he dies. There were dozens of witnesses but for years there was a conspiracy of silence. It took five years for the truth to come out. When I was a kid in the west of Ireland there was a guy in his 20s who used to cycle past our school at the same time every morning. No, this isn't going the direction you think it's going. The story I was told was that this young man as a teenager had been an only child living on a small isolated farm with his widowed mother. He was 18 and he was basically running the farm on his own. One day the guy snapped and beat his mother over the head with a blunt instrument and killed her. The people of the small village he lived in felt sorry for the boy. They thought he was a good kid. They felt that the mother had been an ogre who had made his life hell and what happened was very much out of character. So the murder was covered up on condition. The local priest stipulated that the boy cycled about 15 miles every morning to a very well-known Marian shrine and said an act of contrition for what he had done. My town had a naughty boys school called Boys Town Yes Aussies the Lottery Mob. This was a boys only boarding school run by priests and brothers. The kids there were either too naughty for mainstream public schooling and the local Catholic school or kids from the system with no families. The school holds Australia's top position for most claims of sexual assaults against a church organization. Every one of those claims of the underage variety. The school has been shut since 2004 and was recently demolished. Local business owners won't touch the land. Local churchgoers refuse to talk about it and get angry if you do. Local Aboriginal elders have refused opportunity to use the area for cultural events because it's now bad soil. Developers have recently bought it and will put larger businesses in that land and you can bet your bottom dollar most long-time locals won't even go there to shop. Not in my city but in my family. My great-uncle Norm was a Vietnam veteran and he brought home a sweet Vietnamese wife. They were very happy for some time. He taught her English and she was very crafty. They had two sons that he loved very much. When the sons got older she became jealous of how much time he spent with them and how much he loved them. She became mean and resentful, spiteful. He started finding old meat and bugs in his lunches. And when he started bringing his own lunches she would stalk him at work and try to give him lunches she made. She started ripping apart the house for him to come home and clean up. And didn't feed her sons even though she was the housewife. He filed for divorce. And when he left for work after handing her the papers she stabbed her sons to death. 
doused their bodies and herself in rubbing alcohol, and lit herself on fire. He was absolutely devastated. As a kid I wondered why he was such a zombie, and when I got older my father told me what happened to him. I would probably be an emotional husk too. Family up the road from me seemed like nice people always friendly, owned a business within the area everyone knew them, but they all seemed kind of off or strange. I don't want to use the term but it was apparent they were all a variation of slow to a degree. One day news broke that the father had been sexually molesting his two daughters I think 17 and 13 for god knows how long. Guy was never formally convicted due to lack of evidence so he remains an outsider now to the town. I believe his kids were sent to CPS immediately. Girl in my neighborhood was tied to a tree, raped by multiple boys, and left there overnight completely naked until one of the neighbors found her in the morning. No one talked about it. Nothing was ever done. Local business owner killed his 18-year-old daughter and her stepmom with a hammer then hung himself. No one ever found out why. Another local man down the road shot his family, dogs and horses, lit the house on fire then shot himself. Woman shot the guy that molested her son, in the middle of the courtroom. Movie was made about it. Even bumped into the woman at the store a few times. Have never heard anyone mention it other than the paper occasionally. 